Minecraft, but in real life. All right, welcome back to a brand new video, ladies and gents. This is Minecraft, but in real life. In this series, we compile the latest and greatest items, mobs, and blocks that are in Minecraft and compare them to real life things or things that are close to being in real life. This is episode number 400,372 and 21... It's, it's, it, it, yeah, oh, you get it. Okay, it's, it's been a lot of episodes. Okay, we're running out of things to showcase. This may or may not be one of the last episodes of Minecraft, but in real life. So, if you're gonna miss this series, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and drop a like on today's video. Okay, deal? Okay, perfect deal. First block on our list here is bedrock. Boom, okay? We all know bedrock, right? Wait, this is the strongest block in Minecraft. In fact, you can't break it. You can't break it. No matter how hard you try, how many mods you try, you cannot break bedrock. I mean, unless you're... Unless you're in creative mode. This is bedrock in real life. Yes. I feel like in one of the other episodes, we may have done bedrock or we did upset. I'm not sure. Now, if you want to know what bedrock actually looks like, here's a video on my vlogging channel, Life of Shark, where I tested a bunch of different items with bedrock spray. Look, if you guys are not subscribed to my vlogging channel right now, I need every single person watching this video to go to my vlog channel and subscribe. I'm telling you, there are some insane videos on there. We all know what bedrock looks like, okay? Let's be honest. It's, it's bedrock. Let's try and find something that's a little bit uh, more interesting for the final episode of Minecraft in real life. Ladies and gents, next on the list, we have glowstone. We all love glowstone. They're very similar to sea lanterns as well. They are both blocks that illuminate a very bright light. You place this in a dark room or a dark area, you don't even need to worry about torches anymore. These will last you forever and produce way more light than any torch will. Thank you for always being loyal to me, Glowstone. Glowstone in real life. What does it look like exactly? Um, whoa. Real life glowstone? Wait, is that a real thing? Dude, that is so cool. Look at the whole rock right here and the guy is like holding it. What? Okay, that, that, that that's not the same, is it? That's not the same. I don't, I don't, I don't think so, but that would be sick. Dude, that is so cool looking. Whatever that is, that looks so sick. It, it would be real life glowstone. Dude, they made a Minecraft redstone lamp. That is so sick. Hey, 20,000 likes on this video and I will make a redstone lamp and put it beside my bed. Next up on the list, ladies and gents, we have a ladder. All right, so I'm pretty certain that everybody watching this video has probably seen a ladder before, okay? Let's be honest. But in Minecraft, ladders are a little bit different. Ladders in Minecraft are essentially this block that attach to other blocks and allow you to climb straight up. And now ladders could work like that theoretically in real life, but not all ladders do. Let's check it out. Ladders, here we go. Now, this is a proper ladder, if you ask me. They're on two stands just like this, and, well, you can climb up to your roof if you want to. Now, this is a real ladder. Now, ladder on side of building. This is probably more like Minecraft ladders, okay? Yeah, see, this would be more like a Minecraft ladder. The only difference is this is made out of metal or steel, whereas in Minecraft, it looks like it's made out of wood. More, more like this, actually. This would be pretty darn close to it. Maybe... <gasps> Wait a second. What if ladders in Minecraft are just rusty stuff? Steel real life ladders. Oh my gosh, we have figured it out. I bet you did not expect this one, ladies and gents. Next, we have the sun in Minecraft. The sun is pretty much a giant sea lantern block. It looks just like a giant sea lantern block. I mean, you can't see any details in the sun. You can't see any closer to it. You can try and fly as far as you want to get to the sun, but no matter how hard you try, you will not be able to get there. Now, what does the sun look like up close and personal in real life? Let's find out. This is the sun. Holy cow. So many of you may already know this, okay? Everybody's taking their science classes here, but the sun is a massive ball of energy and fire and explosions and craziness that provides all the heat and light for us on earth look at dude look at this holy cow this is this is this is i don't even know what to say this looks like a star wars planet dude or it looks like the lava balls i generate when i'm trolling people <laughs> in the event videos now this looks like more like the sun in minecraft but this is what we would be seeing down on earth obviously now if, you, if you're lucky enough to ever be an astronaut and go to space you might see something like that but really, really far, far and far away. 
I couldn't forget one without the other, ladies and gents. We got the moon. The moon in Minecraft is a lot different than the sun. It's actually really interesting. There are textures on the moon. There are, uh, you can actually see them pretty well too. There's different textures to simulate all of the little holes on the moon, just like the real moon has. Now, the only downside is just as, just like the sun, if you try and fly to it, you will never ever get any closer because the moon is unattainable in Minecraft. Now, what does the moon look like in person? Well, either go outside and look up or let's just Google it right now. Moon, oh yeah. You know, I gotta say, man, these, looking at the sun and the moon is so interesting to me. Like this is, it's so crazy to think that if we just like drive straight up, like, I don't know, four hours or whatever, you can go to space, you can float, you can't breathe, and you can go to other planets. It's an only a four hour trip. It takes longer to fly to London. What? Dude, that is so cool. Hey, whoever wants to build a car that could drive straight up, I'm down to go on that mission with you, so. Next up on our list, ladies and gentlemen, we have the good old-fashioned Minecraft chest. These are super essential, let's be honest. Chests are super essential. Now, the only downside to chests is they only look one way. They look just like this, okay? There are no other kinds of chests besides a trap chest and an ender chest that you can obtain in Minecraft. Now, I know in real life there are plenty of other kinds of chests. You can get small chests, big chests, wide chests, short chests, long chests. I mean, you can get so many different kinds of chests. And some of them are different colors. Maybe a different shade of brown. Maybe a completely different color than brown. I mean, they could be anything. Chests. Let's no, no, not not a ripped dude at the gym. Chest for storing items. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. See, this is more like a chest. This is a lot more like a Minecraft chest, okay? Maybe the brown is a little bit too dark, and maybe a little things could be changed around, but let's Minecraft chest in real life. Boom, here we have it, ladies and gents. This is a Minecraft chest right there. If anything ever was closer to a real life chest, this is it. You have the little iron pull tab right here with the wood decals and all the different shadings required. I mean, this, but and this, this looks identical to a Minecraft chest. Kudos to whoever made that. That is awesome. Now for the next one, guys, I'm not sure if we actually reviewed this one. I don't think we did uh, because next we up we have sheep and specifically colored wool sheep. Now I know sheep usually have white wool, so I know sheep usually have white wool, just like this guy right here. Now I don't know if they come in pink wool. Is that is that a thing? Is that or do they? Or do they dye the wool after they shave the sheep? I, I I don't know. Let's find out. Pink sheep. Let's see. No, no. <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. That Okay, there's no way. Is that real? Like, that's... They're born pink? Pink sheep, real life. What? Oh, my God. Are these pink sheep for real? Dude, what? Ha huh? Whoa! Whoa, they look like Skittles. They literally look like Skittles, dude. All these sheep right here look like a bag of Skittles. Oh my gosh, that is actually really adorable. That is so cute. Where can, hey, hey, where can I order a sheep now? Next up, guys, we have the jukebox. Okay, we all love a good old jukebox. Go ahead and grab a music disc. Maybe if you found that in a mob spawner, go ahead, pop that in, listen to some tunes, and have a good time. Now, what does the jukebox look like in real life? Pretty sure it looks different than this. Aha, I knew it. This is a real life jukebox, okay? They are, these are super retro jukeboxes. I mean, these are probably super old compared to the Bluetooth speakers that we have today. Look, this one is literally converted so you can plug your iPhone into it. What? It still has the old iPhone jack. It has the old audio cable when all the phones now barely have, uh, okay, never mind. Wow, d d I mean, they look similar, but obviously a Minecraft jukebox is slightly different than this. I have to say though, these are so cool. Imagine just going into an old restaurant and being able to play around with one of these and pick your favorite song. Like that would be so cool. This one's a long shot, but phantoms, phantoms in Minecraft, okay? These things that were recent, these things that were just recently added a couple versions ago in the game, okay? Personally, they're not my favorite mob. They're actually quite annoying. Now, let's be honest, unless we're in a really scary movie or a simulated reality, I don't think phantoms are real, but let's see what Google has to say and see if anybody else has come across a phantom. A phantom in real life, oh my gosh. This is what a phantom would look like in real life. Yeah, that looks almost super close to what a real life phantom would look like. That is that is it, man. Holy. Maybe like this? Yeah, yeah. That's that's honestly, this isn't a real life photo. This is a digital art drawing of a phantom. But I have to say, this is what they would realistically... They'd be like giant bats. That's, that's exactly what they would be. Giant bats. The last one on our list here, guys, is a little bit prickly, and that is a cactus. 
In Minecraft, a cactus, the second you touch it, you start taking damage, which honestly is probably what would happen in real life. Instead of you taking damage, you would just be in excruciating pain from all the little pricklies coming out of that cactus. Now, what do they look like in real life, you say? Let's find out. You know, the closest I've ever come to a cactus is a little cactus plant, but oh my gosh, that is literally the cactus plant I'm talking about. That is the closest I've ever come to a real life cactus, but whoa, that is a real life cactus. Holy, that thing is tall. I guarantee that is probably taller than 99.9% .9 of the people watching this video, including myself. That's probably like 6'5 or something, dude. It looks tall. It looks way taller than me. That's for sure. That is insane. Holy cow, bro, look at that. Look at that. Do not touch that thing. Do not touch it. It'll prick you. I promise. <laughs> Ladies and gents, that has been our compilation this week for Minecraft in real life. If you guys want me to continue this series and add some mods into this so we can try doing some more in real life showcases, let me know by dropping a like on today's video. And of course, if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe to my channel as we are very quickly approaching 3 million subscribers. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. And of course, I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Take care. Thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy and want to see some more from me, you guys see the videos over there, like that one. There's a playlist and then another video right there. Go check them out. They're really, really awesome. And I think you would really love to, uh, to watch them. But ladies and gents, until then, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.